Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone. So this is going to be a reading for my Twin Flames. Okay, so I felt to do a collective reading. Um, we're going to get some oracle, get into the tarot, right? Take whatever you feel is for you. Leave any part out, okay? Especially with the oracle, because I could be picking up on multiple storylines, right? Okay, so right away I'm seeing heartbreak and seduction. So for some of you, you could be going through an ending here, going through some heartbreak. Somebody could have been seduced, right? Now you need to know that if somebody does get seduced by a temptress and gets guided away from you, that that was God's protection for you, okay? Because who's really for you is not going to get tempted by temptresses, tempted by the devil and guided away, right? So if that does happen, you need to know that they failed the test and, and that's for you to get empowered enough to have that self-love for yourself, to walk away and know that you deserve better and that you will be getting somebody better that is truly going to be, you know, the one for you because somebody that's truly for you will never do those things to you, right? So you need to know that. Sometimes before these unions, they were showing me to tie the knot too. Um, if anybody's flighty and things like that, they're going to be exposed. It's like you get tested, right? That's why you, ha you have to pass these tests, right? And um, you need to know that even if you're on a twin flame journey and your twin deceives you, cheats on you and all of that, then they weren't... They weren't awakened knowing who you were. They still had a wounding. Sometimes some will go cheat and things like that and due to insecurities because they didn't feel they were enough. They go and do something to sabotage the relationship before you hurt them, before you leave them or, or whatever. But either way, it's letting you know that you weren't in alignment, okay? So that's why even though these things like you, you just need to heal from it and move on. That's why the twin flame journey, you can't get so focused on who your twin is and, and that that's your end all be all that you're going to wait for them, that you're going to heal for them, that you know what I mean? Because sometimes your twin will never awaken. Sometimes it was the mission was solely for you to find that love from within because that's really what the twin flame mission is about is coming back full and center one with you and divine right knowing that you are one with god and that you are enough so yes <laughs> if you can't some will come into union right but it's not always about that you know more often not then how does that go more often most of the twin flames will not work will will not be able to stay in union because they're really meant to trigger to find the oneness from within right? But they're beautiful love stories because when you do find that, you are going to get blessed with somebody that is equally yoked with you. So ultimately, a lot of times it comes down to making that sacrifice of letting your twin go to, to fully pick, you know, yourself, right? So unfortunately, a lot of things happen within these relationships. There's intense passion and chemistry without a doubt. That's why, yes. But let me tell you what, even though there's intense passion and chemistry and all of that and amazing sex, if they have a cold heart when you're on this mission, you will not feel emotionally fulfilled. And that's something like I kept telling my twin, right? Is that, yes, like our sex mommy, life and all of that. Mommy, Just a minute, baby. Mommy, mommy, okay, shh, baby, mommy's yeah, doing a reading. So... <laughs> So, all right, watch the new one. So anyway, even though like we have this amazing passion and chemistry, I still kept telling him like, it's not enough. Like, I want you to, you need to romance me. You need to, you know, open up more. I want to feel your love from the heart and not just the lower chakras. Cause he was complete, his, his heart was completely closed off. And in his mind, like, I love you. I love you. And like, he can't keep his hands off me. He can't stop kissing me and all that, but he doesn't understand it was the cold heart, you know, that I wanted, I wanted him to love me with his heart. Right. So, um, 
Yeah. So for a lot of you, you're definitely dealing with soul with a soulmate, right? For some of you, as for false flames can come in too because you could be dealing with soulmates. So you've got that like past life lover. So you've got that strong bond. So for some of you, you could have been dealing with false flames. But ultimately what I'm trying to talk to you about in this reading is that, you know, it doesn't really matter to know who your twin is. Just know if you have somebody that really triggers you into a spiritual awakening, really triggers you into loving yourself, then it works, right? That's why, yes, you can come into an alignment with your twin you don't always have to be in union where you both are on the same frequency level, right? You need to know that. So uh, that's finally been reve been revealed to me, like, so. <laughs> All right, so that was a few of the um, twin flame cards. I got, I feel like I need to get a few more, but, um, yeah, look, lost love. But I'm going to wait till the, till the end to pull more. Let's um, get right into the tarot because I'd already picked it up. So let's see what's going on with the collective that I'm tapping in on. Ooh, look, Three of Cups and Ace of Swords. So this is celebrating, having a good time, and I feel that the clarity. For some of you, look, celebration, mingle, friend zone. This might just be getting together with friends, celebrating, having a good time, celebrating you. You know, that's why you could feel as though you have a love-hate relationship, moving fast, breakthrough. Because for some of you, you could feel this intense passion, chemistry. You know that something's there, but you're not in alignment, right? And, you know, we trigger, the light triggers the darkness within others and triggers the shadow side, right? And the inner demons and things like that. So it could have been triggering to somebody. So this is why you may have, like, big highs and lows within your relationship. Distracted, self-absorbed, self and infidelity. Yeah, so I'm getting here that somebody, you know, they... um. Somebody, you know, got tempted by the, by the devil, right? By temptresses, right? And there was some infidelity here. But like I said, it's not everybody's story. You'll know if that's yours. Somebody may blame it on, you know, they acted out due to addictions or did something while they were under the influence, right? But if they were healed, they wouldn't have done that. So I'm one where... If you cheat, like, I'll forgive you, but I gotta go. <laughs> you know, so. Okay. So, um, feeling this single energy here, the hermit card came out single, separate, separation, needing space. You could be one where you're in this energy or your twin is, right? Take it however you feel fitting, but Queen of Wands, you know, but somebody's taking charge and control of their life. Social butterfly. Um, hmm, so, you could be getting attention right um because your energy i'm feeling somebody's like got this this reunited like passion like i was feeling a lot of red i felt guided to um doing red I even got my red candle um in here going yeah look ace of swords somebody's getting the clarity about walking away mm -hmm. so you know and healing their hearts so i've been wearing green too as you know i don't know if you guys have been following my story but i recently um left my twin i finally realized you know we're not in align. We're in a, we're in alignment, but we're not in union. And I feel like I, I flipped that. I don't know why I feel like, because I feel like yeah, we've been in alignment. We've been in a relationship, right? But we haven't been in union, right? So anyway, six of swords. You know, walking away, gotta go, drifting apart, moving on, right? And we constantly have the devil come I mean I don't know if it's always supposed to be that intense but we have everybody and anybody always trying to block us right but we have you know we've got karmic children in the mix rise I've I've had children with previous you know karmics and stuff and I got hung up on many karmic cycles and loops so I always felt that you know the children get used against us and so many other things but I don't know like I've just been telling them for such a long time like you have to get on my level you have to help me fight these demons and these battles I can't keep doing it on my own right and it has been so much for me to be able to endure like on my own like I finally reached my point where I'm like I just can't do this anymore I got to be alone I'm choosing myself and ultimately now I see why all of that happened because it was always meant for me to choose myself so yeah six of swords with the fool walking away in a new beginning right like that's how I free myself from all of this me walking away me choosing me Page of Wands, new adventures, good news is coming in, it looks like here. Let's 
See, non-committal. Somebody might have been being non-committal to them to show me that. But high priestess is here. So you're, <laughs> you're being called by spirit. You know, trust your intuition, what you're feeling. You know, this is a very spiritual card. See, spiritual love. I feel, you know, spiritual love is going to be coming in. And that's advice from spirit. Like, you are not meant to do this mission on your own. You're not. So you are going to be meeting somebody that is equally yoked with you. You will be coming in alignment with somebody. It's just how it works. Universe always sends somebody. They do. Because we're not meant to be alone. Right? So it's going to send someone that's at a map. And there's a lot of other twin flame connections, but they're out of alignment. So you're going to come in alignment with somebody that has done the work, right? You get blessed with love by God, divine source, when you're ready for it. True love, anyway. So temperance is here. Living together, happy home contentment. This is where I feel the energy. I feel that you already feel like you've set yourself free just from all this toxicity and all of this, this polarity um, that you were dealing with here because this is coming up in the recent past position and we have Knight of Swords. So aggressive, confident, moves fast. You... Ten of Swords. This is, I feel, an energy that you were dealing with here. Somebody that was very aggressive, very confident, very, um, because it's coming out with the Ten of Swords. Like, it was a karmic cycle, I feel that. I feel it quickly closed out, is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, and boom, Ace of Pentacles. Now you're getting blessed with an abundant new beginning. But see, strategy is needed here. I'm getting to somebody was being very strategic with you. Yeah, look, calculated. Like, you're going to need to make a calculated move here. Because Seven of Swords is also about being strategic. Because I feel like the, I feel like this love is so strong, right? A lot of times, they don't like to let you go. Because there's this love-hate. For some of you, you may need to be careful because if someone's got a love-hate, they may have this idea like, if I can't have you, nobody will. And we have been picking that up in the collective. I've been getting guided to a lot of, um, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been getting to a lot of, um, sorry if you hear my stomach, um, like warnings, things like that. I've also been noticing, I've been seeing a lot of spirit animals that represent the warning. What was it? Is it the, um, is it the meerkat? There was something that Spirit Animal talked about. A warning. It's not for everybody. But if you feel as though you need to be strategic, like not sharing your plans and things like that, you'll know if that's for you. Look, justice is here, but see movement. Chariot. Taking charge and control of your life. Some sort of movement. But see... Waiting, divine time, letting go. All right, let's 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 find out more. I feel that these are coming in on top of the karma. What's the, what's the challenge? Let's see, I feel a pain coming in. Um, Nine of Swords reverse. So you're coming out of worrying fear. Yeah, you need to let go of fear. You need to know that you're being guided. Somebody could be doing um, spell work and confusion spells. I've been getting those heavy, right? Like I keep getting a sharp pain right here. Somebody like just does not want you to go. I don't. If somebody's really possessive, you know, um... Yeah, that kind of feel like her. This could be a lot on your on your mind to make a decision. This for some of you, this could be one of the most toughest decisions you have to make, right? But look, this empress is reversed in this stack. She's upside down. You are not being treated as an empress. But there's a tower moment here. I feel this tower is you setting yourself free. Like you're knocking this tower down. I mean, Source could have came in starting to tip that tower, but <laughs> I feel you knew that you needed to make a movement. Yeah. 
see there's this five of wands competition jealousy challenge next to the king of wands which can be very intense king of wands can be very take charge my way or the highway type of king and i feel like he's watching you and there's secrets there's things that you don't know that could be coming to light i did see a fair here too uh, yeah, on the moon card. So some things could be coming to light around the next full moon cycle or just things are coming full circle. But you could be finding out about an affair. They, I feel they could be stressed about this. They don't want a secret or something to come to light. This could help you with your movement maybe. Yeah, heartbreak, drama, betrayal. I'm really feeling that something is coming to light. Somebody could be coming um, in with the truth about something. It could maybe it could have led to them holding back from you because they knew that there was a secret that needs to come to light. But yeah, ten of pentacles. But to, to me, I felt it's just it's just gonna help you. Part of this is like you deserve the truth. Six of pentacles. Maybe it's gonna help them explain why how they've been treating you the way that they have. Um, but there's ten of pentacles here. You're going towards your legacy. Yeah, like, maybe that's it, too. Like, you, I'm getting strongly that there's, like, a betrayal. Like, you can't build on secrets. Yeah, see, three of wands. I'm feeling that, you know, wait for clarity. Meddling. Some of you could be going on a romantic trip, right? Because the chair, I look right at romantic trip here. Hmm. Yeah, the devil. See, somebody I feel was led by temptation. There was some, you know, divine sent in a test and they didn't pass it. Maybe somebody was struggling with some sort of an addiction. Look, the romantic is here. The believer, destiny, endless love. I feel that's what's coming in for you. Hmm. Yeah, this is all in divine timing. Yeah, it's like this blessing has been waiting to come in for you, but you needed to make room for it. <laughs> Ten of swords, three of swords. Yeah, there was a missed opportunity here because there was a betrayal. See, if there's a betrayal, it's like divine will come in and test these connections. And that's what I feel like happened. I felt like a test came in to test the pureness of someone's heart before a, a divine blessing because... Divines, you're very, very powerful. These twin flame collectives, like, you're meant to be blessed in so many ways. You get so much, like, abundance and, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff that's, like, held back. Like, divine is going to bless you in so many ways. That's why these two are, like, boss couples. It's meant for you to have so much money, wealth, all of that. And if you're not a person that wants to have, you're just going to be one that's just going to be giving it away, right? If, if you're not in the material, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's why you get tested, like, because you're going to, it's part of how we're restoring the justice. So I've been saying that the 144,000, the very, very powerful, you know, being like, we're the ones that we're going to be like Robin Hood, right? <laughs> but it's like, we don't have to go sneak and take, we're just going to be giving it, but we're going to be taking it away from the ones that don't deserve it and giving it to the ones that do, right? So it's like, you have to be tested of a pure heart, right? You have to make sure that you're not going to be guided away from temptation. So really you both are tested, but what I'm getting is somebody didn't pass it. So they've been living with the karma too, and that could ultimately change and altered how your twin was behaving now. I feel like this is my story. Well, it always is. Always new, right? But, yeah, so something's been dissolving. Five of Pentacles here. Something's, you know, someone's been losing faith. There's been things just have been unraveling, falling apart, because ever since this um, test was not passed, Divine's been dissolving this gentle enough for you but more heavy for them they're getting they've been getting haunted by these things they're going to come in with the truth right because it's weighing heavy on their heart now being in a time of justice and it's not going to stop until it's till it's surrendered to you 
But ultimately, I feel a lot of you like you're going to need that to set you free. So don't let it don't let it make you feel bitter. Right. Truth is always meant to come out because it because it can't come out later for it to mess with you. So divine's calling judgment now. Karma is going to be getting more and more intense until the truth comes out on them. So truth. And I've been seeing that collectively, too. So there is going to be some big reveal. You are going to be finding about some sort of betrayal, I feel. Right. I mean, if you were guided to this reading, you're probably in alignment with this. But like I said, don't just assume if you don't feel. Just just know that if something is revealed to you, it's because somebody didn't pass the test. And if you choose to forgive them and stay in it, hey, you have free will. Fine. You know? I mean... But just... For some of you, I feel you're good either way because I have I was getting that for a while too because for some of you, like, they did learn their lesson, right? Um, and, you know, you forgiving them is having that unconditional love and, and, and you can build, right? But, but for some of you, like, if... That's why I say, like, these... These, these twin flame love stories are just so, so beautiful, but they're so, <laughs> like, terrible, too, because so much happens to you, right? And, and the, the love that's on this level, and just still, the, 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 heart, the heartache and the betrayal and the things that you have to forget, that's why we get these amazing blessings. That's why for some of you, it's like, yeah, if you can fully forgive them and, and stay high vibrational, like, you're stronger than I am. You, you know, to each his own, right? But to me, you know, maybe that's something that I need to learn to, you know, have. But to me, the strong empress energy that I'm in. But maybe some of it was ego. I don't know. But that's why, to me, you're going to have a choice. You're going to have a choice at, you know, having your twin you know, they, they have to come truthful. They will never be right if they can't come truthful with you. They, you. They won't even have a chance. So if they even want a chance, they have to come in and reveal this truth to you. And um, ultimately, it's your choice. So you, it's like I'm getting like love triangle like I was getting my readings because it's like you're going to you already have a new lover. You've already had a new lover here to choose. So you get a new lover where they basically get, you get somebody with that has got the same type of contract, high, high vibrational that's going to be equally yoked with you, right? That, that would be your counterpart or your twin. But your twin is not going to be able to advance to your level spiritually if a truth is not revealed. So if you don't have a twin that's coming in revealing something, I mean, I hope this is making sense. So somebody, like, if you have a twin that's been in very, very dark energy, right, and in their shadow side and just won't come out, well, that's because something happened here. So, all right. It's not everybody's story, but um, if not, take the enlightenment away from it help you understand the twin flame journey a little bit, right? So I'm sorry. <laughs> I get it. But ultimately, either way, it was to level you up. That's what I mean. You didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't for who was betrayed. It was just your love triggered their shadow side. And for whatever reason, their demons, their darkness, whether they didn't feel they were good enough. And it was them that caused them to go do this right and it could have been an influence of alcohol addictions is that's what's so terrible right about alcohol it numbs you down shuts you off from source and you have demons control you right and demonic forces can have people go do things that weren't they normally wouldn't have done but it's um you know that's why if you can have that forgiveness right it was it was they were under an enemy had control, right? To cause them to do this betrayal. If you can forgive that and still have that, you know, that um, there's this is beautiful. But either way, you know, you have something amazing and you definitely have a hard choice to make, but some sort of truth needs to be revealed, right? Is the main message with this reading. So, love and light to all of you. Bye.